What's up, everybody? How are you? Greetings, greetings from this beautiful beach. I'm so excited to share some thoughts and some t on a topic that's so very close to me. And um, it's about how you let God take the lead, not just in your life, but also in your business. So I want you to grab your virtual sunglasses and imagine the sound of these waves that we have back here. Y'all ready to dive in? Let's do this. My name is Kathy McReynolds. I'm with Bible Business Academy. I want to acknowledge that running a business is just like surfing. Like, look at these ties out here. You know, sometimes if you like, get out there, you'll get wiped out and, and it, things will come. It's just like a good surf and trusting in or these birds are flying everywhere. That's the same way you've got to trust in God with your business and your life. When you think about Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it tells us to trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not in our own understanding. In all our ways, y'all, we're to submit to him and he will make our path straight. So when you think of the scripture, I want you to think, think of it like you're on a surfboard. It keeps us afloat, it keeps us, of course, and it keeps us trusting God and, and letting go of what we think is right and that tight grip and that control that we have and just allow him to guide us through these waves of life, right? Because you're going to have waves. You see the waves come in and come out? Just let God take the lead. Take the do that. But you're saying to yourself, I got this plan. I got this five-year plan, this quarterly plan. I have a million things on my to-do list, and I get it. I'm an entrepreneur myself. We're planners. We're strategists. We're visionaries. But here's the funny thing. See, God said he already knew the plans that he has for us. And we, instead of us trying to figure it always out, why don't we just ask him and let him tell us what he wants us to do? And see, we get so busy and obsessing over the, the numbers, the likes, the spreadsheets, and all of that stuff. But if you go back to Jeremiah 29 and 11, he reminds us, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope, to give you a future. It's like being on this beach right here thinking that you're just here for a swim. And then you discover that hidden treasure, treasure that's right there underneath the sand. And God's plan is that treasure waiting for you. And it's oftentimes so much better than we could have ever expected it to be. So guess what? Let God take the lead. We, and when you do that, always start it out with the prayer. In Philippians 4, uh, 6, it says, do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. So before you make that big business decision, or even that small one, when you wake up during the day, say, God, take the lead. Before you start a new venture, take a moment to pray. It's like checking the weather before you're headed out to surf or before you come into the beach, because I definitely wouldn't be uh, surfing. Your prayer prepares you for what's ahead. And another key that you want to follow is to listen to God's guidance. Listen to that Holy Spirit. See, this can't come. It's going to come in various forms. It can be a gut feeling. It can be advice from a trusted friend. And even a scripture that speaks directly to you. You ever had that moment like, dang, that speaks speaking to me. James 1, 5 says, assure us, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding thought, and it will be given to you. See, when you listen to God, it's like, it's like tuning it into this ocean waves, feeling their rhythms, and knowing when to ride them. I always sit here and look at the surface and be like, how do you do that? And let's not forget, you also got to surround yourself with fellow believers like yourself who, who will support you, who will encourage you, who, who will help hold you accountable. Proverbs 27, 17 says, as iron sharpens iron, so one person will sharpen another. It's like having a surfing buddy, a beach buddy, who will cheer you on and help you improve your skills. If you don't have that, you want to find that. And finally, y'all, embrace flexibility. You've got to be flexible with God's time because it's not our time. It's always different from us. And Isaiah 55, 89, 8 through 9, it reminds us, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the ocean is unpredictable, so is this journey of faith, so is the journey of entrepreneurship. So be ready to adjust yourselves and trust that God knows best what's, what's best for you. And he'll take you on the right route. So when you think about letting God take the lead in your business, in your life, about trust, about prayer, about listening, community, and flexibility, I want y'all to think of these ways behind me. And with confidence, know that the ultimate surf instructor is guiding you every step of the way. So I want to thank you guys for joining me on this beachside tech, y'all. And may God bless your adventures and whatever you're doing and lead you to new horizon. If you want to learn more about how to build a business with biblical principles, we'll go to BibleBusinessAcademy.com, BibleBusinessAcademy.com. Again, my name is Kathy McReynolds. I appreciate and have a wonderful day.